Hello everybody, this is From Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodwin. Hi John. Hey. How you doing? Pretty good. Well, as we promised, we were going to give you guys a ranking video. Well, we've decided as a group that it was a little bit better to just do a grading system instead of a ranking system because we don't really want to put teams in a specific spot that, you know, say me and him disagree on something. Right. We don't want it to be um, put in a biased nature, so we're just going to grade them based on our own personal opinions, just the two of us, compared to ranking them, uh, just to be on the safe side so we right. uh, we don't uh, offend or hurt nobody's feelings. <laughs> <laughs> um, so with that being said, today we are doing the reverse retro jerseys. But before we do that, please check out our sponsor, Hockey Locker. They are located in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. At, well, they're located right across the street from Wilson Park. You can call them at 414-800-7585. Or visit their website at HockeyLockerMilwaukee.com. Is that 2002? I think it is 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Alrighty, so we're gonna try and go about as alphabetical as we can as far as city and team. Yep. So we start off with the Ducks. Um, personally, me and the Ducks got a B rating. They're not great jerseys, but they're not horrid looking. Right. They've kind of grown on me a little bit, kind of like this one did. I actually had to grow into it. <laughs> <laughs> but, um,. No, I think it's a good jersey um, for what they're trying to go for. Right. I think they could have went with a different look yeah. than the cartoon, but that was why it got a B rating instead of an A rating. Right. Uh, your opinion? Uh, probably a B too. It, like we said, I, I just uh, my biggest problem is the font. I've always had a problem with the font with these with these in particular. Even when Paul Carrillo wore them back right. in the in the nineties, I had a problem with the font. I just didn't see it as a hockey font, and and as a classic hockey fan, it just didn't work for me. Right. So there's that. All right. Up next, we have the Arizona Coyotes. Um, I give it an A. Me too. Um, looks, I remember when they had those jerseys. Didn't have that logo up front, but they had no. the jerseys. I, I, I believe they had the moon back then, or the uh, coyote, coyote with that head with the hockey stick. Correct. Uh, um, it was the full body coyote. Yeah. Um, the one thing I do wish they did, instead of white font, green. Yeah. I think it would have made the jersey pop more, or like an orange, but. Or even like an orange outline. Yeah, just something to make the, the letters or fonting pop, but that's just right. coming from two gamers who yeah. do everything. <laughs> so there's that. Um, then up next we have Boston. Boston gets a C just on the basis that it's very plain right. and bland. It's two colors straight across the board. It's not bad but it's not horrid right it's it's in the middle that's why i gotta see i don't hate it but i don't love it <laughs> just one of those things yeah um yours uh well what are we doing as far as the grading scales pluses minuses just just, just the average a average. a probably a, a c a c <coughs> yeah a c as well yeah like i said i i don't I don't like how bland it was, but it did take it back, yes, and that and that's what it was intended to do. Yep. So that's where I, I I didn't grade it horribly, but I think they could have done more. All right. right. Up next, speaking of doing a little too much, they couldn't have gone any more better with this one. Right. Buffalo. Buffalo did one thing and one thing right all year last season. And it was making this jersey. Yeah. The reason why is it still has the old goat head on the shoulders. Right. Or, or the buffalo on the shoulders. We call it goat head in Buffalo. So for those of you, I am an old Sabres fan. I love Nashville. 
But um, before Nashville came in the league, I was a Sabres fan. I loved Dominic Hoshik, Matthew Barnaby, you name it. I have a long list. I plan on picking up one of these so that I could put uh, like a Barnaby or Hoshik or somebody on one of these. Right. Um, and uh, I, I just think that these are just beautifully made. They did everything perfect compared to the red one back in the day. Right. I'm glad they didn't go red because I hated that particular jersey. But I wish they would have went with the goat head jerseys. Us fans would have just bought the crap out of them. But we did. They are buying these in mass numbers. You cannot buy right. them online right now. They're selling out. Up next, we have the Blasty. Blasty. Blasty, the Calgary Flames. Um, oh, but whoops. Forgot one thing. Gotta go back to Buffalo. Whoops. There we go. Sorry. I'm, we're a little rusty here, so bear with us. Uh, Buffalo grading, I'm going to give it an A. I think they did a great job. Yeah. I, I, I think that, you know, this is one of those top jerseys as far as this collection goes. Um, so there's that. Now on to Blasty. Blasty is kind of the redheaded stepchild of, of the Calgary Flames. Right. Some people love them. Other people hate it. Right. It depends on who you are. As far as these go, I love it, except for one thing. Looks way too much like a retro Vancouver Canucks jersey. <laughs> I, I like it. I do like it. I love it. It, it. it gets an A from me because they did a great job with the old school with the new school. Yeah. Um, as far as you? I'm A. Alrighty. Up next, we got the Chicago Blackhawks. Now, with the Blackhawks, we got a little bit of the retro feel. Yeah. But one of the things I didn't like about it is, is if you look at their Winter Classic from a few years ago, all they did is add color. Right. You know. And to me, that's lazy. Right. You could have done so much. Um, as far as that, you could have did the um the the bars, the color bars, like right. the old old Blackhawk color bars, and then thrown the logo over the color bars. Right. And made it intertwine into the logo. And made it like an old school jersey. Yeah. But to me, this was just a little lazy. See. I, I'd probably have to. You know, um, looking at it from that perspective. Yeah. All righty. So C's across the board for Chicago. And trust me, there was no biasness <coughs> in that one. I just didn't no. like it. No, I don't like it either. Um, Carolina, Hurricane. Or the Hartford Whalers, in this case. Right. Um, I like that they brought it back. Me too. Problem is, they never really wore a gray jersey. It was never worn. No, they never did it. And that equals a problem. Because you could have done white, blue, green, white, gray. Right. You have white in your jersey when your jersey's gray. It just makes it... It, it would be perfect... To an extent, and I'm sorry I'm going to cover us up a second so you guys can see this. Um, it would be perfect if you didn't have um, the white in the striping and it was gray instead right. of the white. Because otherwise, the white just messes it up too much. I want to give it an A, but I have to give it a B. I want to, but can't. There's just one flaw, and when you have one flaw, it may throw off everything in that. Like, in the bars, when you do that, you just can't. Right. You can't have it that way. Um, so, I say B. Your opinion? Yeah. You know, I'm sorry. I'm a little nitpicky. I make a, about 30 jerseys a day on NHL just to kind of see what I can do. So, um, up next, the Colorado New Dor Nordiques. A. I don't even got to talk. Just A. Yeah. Um, all of us old school hockey fans love the Nordiques and, 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 and want them to come back. We believe Canada should have another team. Yeah. Um, 
kind of unfair that a Canadian sport has become an American sport. Um, unfair to Canada in, in that sense because we keep taking their teams. Uh, uh, well, fortunately for us, they took the Thrashers and made them right. the Jets. Thank you. All right, they <laughs> gave us the Jets back. Yeah, so thank you for that, but, you know, we got to get that back so that rivalry can continue, too, because the Nordiques and, and the Jets, that was worth some good hockey games. Yeah. All right. Florida Panthers. What can be said about this? Perfect jersey. It is legit a perfect jersey. Uh, there's something particularly, I don't like it, that's the, the, the blue in the lining, but... I see why they did it. You know, I, I mean, yeah. I can't nitpick too much on on all of them. Um, some things you just can't nitpick, um, and at least they did it across the board. Right. Where now here you're not seeing it, so hey. Yep. I I love the old logo, so I'm a sucker for it. Right. I, I love yeah. that logo. I use it to this day in NHL <laughs> 21. Can't wait for 22. That'll ought to be fun. Alrighty, LA Kings. The LA Kings jersey. Threw it to the 70s, if, I, if I'm recalling correct. The LA Kings jersey is perfectly made. I've just never been a fan of the purple and gold just because I don't like the Lakers. And it makes me think of that because they changed their colors because of the Lakers. So. See, and, and, and I have a feeling they did those colors for last year's retro for I, I wouldn't doubt it. I wouldn't the, doubt it. I wouldn't either, but and, I uh, I think it's a good jersey. It I is. give it a, I give it, if I could give pluses, I'd give it a B plus, but it, right. it, 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 it's, it's in that gray area between a B and an A for me because of the color scheme, because of the way that the, 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 the the numbers are done. The numbers are yellow on yellow. They basically took three of their jerseys and combined it into a retro. Exactly. And it was just it, like it, it's it's nice. I would have to give it an A. Yeah. Well, like I said, we're not going to agree on everything. No. <laughs> there is one we will agree on. Up next, the Minnesota Wild. The Minnesota Wild. If you could have done one thing right. Should have put the North Stars logo on instead of the star. It should have been the, the head of the, the, the wolf coming. The big problem with that is Dallas still owns the logo. Right. So unfortunately for them, Dallas does own the logo. So with what they had to work with, they did a good job. They did great. The other thing about that is, is when you really look at it, for us up here, hey, they're Packer colors. <laughs> Thanks, Wild. You're going to give us Packer jokes for a very long time with this one. Yeah, see, even the Wilder Packer fans. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um, but no, no, we joke, we joke. I yep. think it was a great jersey. They, I mean, they even did the numbers right. Right. You yeah. know, you did a back, like a shade of green under the number to make it really blend in very well. Um, they... They didn't do. They didn't mess up anything. And and one thing, Minnesota being the state of hockey, did a great job. Yeah. All right. There's going to be one here where a little bit of us are confused, but it's something we have all always wanted. Montreal. Montreal's reverse retro. Now, hear me when I say this. Now that I just cut my head off. <laughs> little too much there. Alright. Everybody and their mother wanted a blue Canadians jersey. Yeah. They'd never done it before. This was a good opportunity. Right. And a great way to sell jerseys when fans couldn't be there. They did a great job with the white with the red outline. Yeah. They've done an insane job selling these. As well as, I may pick up a Cole Caulfield one. <laughs> <laughs> um, just so that y'all are aware, we are, us over here, are cheering a little bit for the Canadians, just based off of Cole Caulfield and... Um, Two Colorado Eagles are in there, too. 
as well as Shea Weber, former yep. Predator and Admiral. Predator and Admiral. Yep. Yep. So, um, and Cole Caulfield's grandpa was an Admiral. Yes, he was. Wayne, so, right? Yep. So uh, he also uh, helped run uh, some local charities until his uh, untimely passing. So um, with all of that, uh, the Caulfield family is very well liked in the state of Wisconsin. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, the Wisconsin Badgers, uh, when they got him, we were very happy with that. All right, I don't need to put this up, but I'm going to. The Habs get an A, just so you're aware by me. Yeah. All right, Nashville. Y'all may hate me a little bit. Oh, I like it. I like the jersey. You could have done this logo right here. Yeah, I was going to say, I wish they had done the prehistoric logo instead. You mean that one? Yeah, that one. <laughs> the one that's on the shoulder? Yeah. I do wish you went with the logo that's on the shoulder, on the chest, and the one that's on the chest, on the shoulder, you know, or even the guitar pick. I would have been fine with either or. I think that that would have been a better touch. You guys get a B from me. I'm not giving you an A just based on that. Um, I don't like the all gold. Never will. Would have liked like some silver in there with like outlining Bridgestone Arena's iconic arena, you know, and, like in the background. That would have been cool. But at the same time, I like it. Yeah. It's one of my favorites, but it's just not A. It's just not an A. The reason solely for me because of the color. I've just never been a fan of this color of yellow. If it was gold, it'd be different, but it's right. not. Um, so for me, it's a B. Um, for me, it's an A. Yeah, <laughs> for him, it's an A. For me, it's a B. You can see, host, I'm, I'm supposed to be biased and I'm not. <laughs> you know, so, you know, I'm giving it a B just based on that. I do like the silver in the sleeves. I like the silver here. Oh, yeah. And even on the sides, the silver plays in. So right. I like it a lot. I just, just, there's just too much gold. Just too much of one color. I also like that the blue numbers, I love that a lot. With the yellow striping, it's yeah. just, there's a lot to like. With the outline. Exactly. The outlines, everything was done right. I just, I'm not a fan of the color. And I've said that in my past videos when I've talked about these jerseys. Yeah, you have. So, sorry. Alrighty, on to New Jersey. It's Christmas time! <laughs> Early 90s. Yes. They had the white, green, and red jerseys. Yes. Um, I do like it. The only problem I have with it is you could have done a white backdrop with the color and a red numbers. Would have made it a lot better. Yeah. Would have put you in the A category. You're a B. Yeah. We may have some F's coming up. New York Islanders. Yikes. I F. hate to say this, but what did you do here? <laughs> what what different? Where's What's retro? the retro, man? Like, you could have put, like, an island without Where's the, the fisherman? Circle. Right, where's the fisherman? Yeah, that's... With the wheel on the boat. Yeah. It's like... Where, where is all these, you know, you had so many options. You could have done, a, I do, well, that nothing's changed. Do you, you basically stretched out the colors a little bit and slapped your logo on it and went, done. Right. It's perfect. It's not. You know, but it gets enough from me. And that's sad because I wanted the fisherman. So. Right, so did I. So it gets an F from me. You didn't do anything. Okay. F. Across the board. New York Rangers. It's funny, they're right there together. New York seemed to do everything right. They brought the Liberty Bell back. They're not Liberty Bell, uh, Statue of Liberty's head back. Yeah, perfect jersey. Everything looks right. Everything looks clean. Good to go. Yeah. Hey, they did everything right. You couldn't have done anything wrong. So, Ranger, one team in New York does right. Hey. <laughs> the other one, not so much. Ottawa. Ottawa's jersey. Hmm. 
Now hear me when I say this. It's not an A and it's not a B, but it's not a C. So it's like Right. It's it's nice. It's clean. It looks way better than their winter classic jersey. Right, it does. But just I like the red, but they're just too much. Yeah. So C. Yeah, I'd say a C too. It's not horrid. It's not a fail. You did everything right. Just too much of one color. You could have put some gold in there. Philly. All right. Let's just say this. D. What did you really do? I mean, you, you really didn't do it. Kind of the sleeves up and the shoulders. But other than that. Like, you didn't really do anything. Like, it, it's not... You changed it, and you made it retro, but you didn't really change all that much. Right. No. So, I give it a D. I'm not going to give it a fail, because it's not a fail. No, they did what they were supposed to do. It's just... Yeah, we'll agree on the D. Yeah. But we'll leave all joking. This is the backbone. Pittsburgh. Ugh. Never been a big fan of Pittsburgh, but all right. They first kind of threw it to a college retro almost. And they threw it to right, like Yarmir Yager era. Right. Now all you had to do was put the little triangle penguin in there, and you got them sold. But <laughs> what can I do? Right. It, 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 for a retro jersey, it looks great. I mean, it, it definitely takes you back to the old hockey era where you just had the city's right. name. Right. Or you just had your logo. And there was never really like a color scheme or no. like you nowadays you got to sell jerseys. Right. Back in when we were kids, it wasn't about selling jerseys. It was about what you put on the ice. Right. Nowadays, it's about I got to sell merch because bandwagon and fantasy sports let's not get into that right you know so with that i give it a b it, it it's it's close to a c but i give it a b because just because of the, the the old school feel and i have looked into past pittsburgh jerseys and they have had the name across the front yes, before they have. Yep. so i give them a b it's b as well not perfect but it's enough We've got San Jose and Sharky. And first person to play Baby Shark gets hit. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, B. Reason being, I would have preferred a black one. I would have preferred the jersey black. With so much silver and gold in everyday jerseys nowadays, and that's kind of the same reason I gave this a B. Right. It's just so many bright colors and, and stale colors. I, I just don't see it. I'm going to have to go with a C. Ah. I there do was like, a lot of potential that they could have added I do, to keep it retro but pop. And they, in my opinion, they missed, missed out. Yeah. I do like that they brought back the old Shark logo, though. Yes. That is one thing I do like. You know. Uh oh. We forgot a couple. In our uh, we'll alphabetical grading here. Yeah, that went out the window. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We apologize. That, that system went out the window, but we're still even doing the video, so. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty. Alrighty. So, St. Louis. Um, Major uh, throwback. Perfect. Perfect jersey. Great jersey. Not a big fan just because we're rivals, but great jersey. I love the note. I love the old royal blue. Right. I love the yellow with the striping and, and the music notes. It all makes sense. It's great. Probably a B for me. I'd give it a B. If I could give it a B plus, I would. But like we said, we're keeping it straight down the middle here. Tampa. Tampa's reverse retro is 
exactly as they call it. Yeah. You have the modern colors with a retro logo. Yep. Did exactly what they were supposed to do. Only different, only thing I hate is that it looks like a Leafs jersey. <laughs> it really does. It looks like a Toronto Maple Leafs home jersey. Well, the first player I think of when I see this is Martin St. Louis. I was thinking Vinny LeCavie, <laughs> so I was right there with you, or, or, or Hobby Bullet. Right. So, I mean, um, with us, what, you know, it, 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 it fits, so it gets a B. You know, that's, that's pretty much, if it fits the bill, it gets, it gets a solid grade. So, speaking of fitting speaking the bill. Speaking of maple leaves. Yeah, and speaking of maple leaves. Toronto. I have a couple issues with this jersey. And one of them is, why does it look like a pot leaf? Let's be real here for a second. It kind of does. For once, they could have made a St. Pat's color <laughs> and sold a whole bunch of these jerseys just by making it look even more like a pot leaf. I'm talking from a branding and selling point. Not personal opinion. But, weed's legal in, co in Canada, so can't really fault me on saying it. But, right. um, and they are known for their maple syrup, so I'm not going to knock that either. But, it's just a little, the outline's weird. Yes, it is. It, it, it's, it's a D. It's not an F. It's really close to one. Right. But they definitely did use the old logo, but you guys could have been way different with the outlines yeah. of all the lines. I mean, you right. got lines going here and here, and it's just like, where do I follow? So uh, with that, just not the biggest fan. Um, I have. I think of the Senators and Blackhawks sometimes when they release new ones. It's like there are too many lines. Yeah, and and and, and there's that. So with. That being said, Toronto, you get a, a D for me. Uh, your grade? Uh, D. I, 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 it I don't really... like the, the how they did the logo. No. I mean, yes, it was a big throwback, but it just doesn't look fully proper. No, that's why I said if you were going to do it fully proper, you could have done with the St. Pat's with the right. Leafs logo with their colors. Yep. Um, all right. On to the Sprite can. <laughs> so... With this, when you look at it, what do you see? I see a Sprite can, or uh, I see an old, old jersey. Is what I see. Yeah, I mean, I like it. I like it a lot. But it reminds me of a Sprite can, <laughs> <laughs> or a Subway commercial <laughs> back in the day when they had the green and blue. Right. Or uh, Sierra Mist. <laughs> I'm gonna stop now before I get myself in trouble. <laughs> but uh. No, it's a great jersey. Uh, I do joke about stuff a little bit, but we gotta have fun. So um, I'm gonna make a lot of jokes in a minute. Right. Please take no offense. We're just trying to. You know, I make jokes about to laugh at occasionally. And, and trust me, I make jokes about our jersey. So uh, like skating bananas. So trust me. Sometimes I'm just not a big fan. This one, you get an A. Yeah. I think that that's that. F. F. <laughs> F. At least if you're going to do that, can we, like, put playing cards in the background so it looks somewhat casino-y? I mean... I understand <laughs> you're trying to go back to the IHL days. Right. But why? Why? Let the Henderson Knights have that one. Right. You don't need to do it. Just saying. It, 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 this, this logo never cut it. I will say it again. I wish the Vegas Knight, Golden Knights were the Las Vegas Lakers. Something else. The Wranglers. <laughs> the Gamblers. I don't right, care. The Gamblers. You're in Vegas. <laughs> Something. The Knights? You make no sense. You no sense. You don't even have night with all the strip and everything lit up. There is no night. You can no. see the sky from space. Right. You can see Vegas from space, you and can. you and because of uh, the dam there, 
after every human's gone for 20 years, you're going to be able to see Vegas from space because of the dam until they have to until it falls apart. Right. I mean, you're looking at it from a perspective of what were you thinking? Right. There's lasers everywhere. Come on, people. <laughs> yeah. Um. Anyway, he gets enough. Yeah. Ooh. I know a lot of people were 50-50 on this one, but I loved it. reason I loved it all right, is you took the old Capitol logo, then you took the, lo- the jersey from before that logo, and then you added modern colors. Right. And you made it look good. Yeah. That ain't easy. No, it isn't. And I mean, I, I've been trying to buy one of these for uh, a Ovechkin jersey from since they released them on sale, and I still can't. They're sold out. It gets an A for me. I think it was just too well done. Yeah, an A. Alrighty. Well, we're talking retro. Let's see what we got here. Winnipeg Jets. All right. Not New York, not the J-E-T. Jets, Jets, Jets. I'm just kidding. Duck with that. All righty. Um, D? I'd have to put it in a C. I'm like really in between a C and, and, and D. Just the lines, the, the color scheme, it, it, it just doesn't work. The light, the gray with the dark blue and the white and the light blue and where's the orange? Right. You know. That's all I gotta say. Where's the orange? So with that one, it got a D for me and a C from him. So still kinda passed. It got like a C plus to over overall rating. Up next, Columbus. I would have preferred their bug eyed jersey. Honestly. I thought that was creative back in the day. <laughs> All right, give it everything. Given Columbus's history, that they have very little, yeah, and little bit of jerseys, much like Nashville. So, I mean, sometimes we got to cut a little slack. Yeah. Um. It's a good jersey. Not a great jersey, but a good jersey. If it's the old school, um, I would have preferred a cannon over that. But I believe they still use the cannon. I think they do. On the shoulder patch. So, um, to go old school logo, made sense. Good look. Right. I'd give it a B, maybe a C. I think 100% perfect, but it does what you need it to do. Yeah. It would have sold the Columbus fans. You're not talking fans outside of your market maybe wanting to buy it, but... Right. Um, you know, and that's part of what this is about. You know, maybe yes. you've got an older fan, like a Buffalo fan or something. Yeah. That, you know, um, when that, you know, you were a fan of a team before your team came in and, and, and you like their, their older jerseys and, you know, or yeah. you're a fan of Columbus and now you live in Vegas or whatever, you know, whatever have you. You know, um, a, 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 a relocation plant, if you put it. Right. Um, so yeah, I, I think that it, it, it's a little in that gray area between a B and a C. Yeah. F. Automatic F. I have to say D. They messed this up bad. They had so much for opportunity for Dallas. So much. All right. Well, we're going to blow this one up so that everyone can see why I complain. Anybody see the stars? Can anybody see that? Mm. I, I can't see their name. Can anybody see the uh, why they made the outline the way it is? I mean, this looks like a throwback practice jersey, if you ask me. Yeah, it does. I mean, and that's kind of sad. Now, if you'd have sold this 20 years ago, it might have sold. Oh, yeah. But I think that it, 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 you cannot mess up this bad. 
on something that iconic. Right. Because that jersey is iconic. They won the Stanley Cup in that. Right. You know, and you messed it up. You could have went with green, like the, the, the mint green you have now. Right. You could have went with that, but you didn't. They never had a mint green version of that. It was always black and white. Yeah, it was. So the mint green would have been perfect. Black, white, and gold. Yeah. I mean, it, 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 it's just bad. And speaking of bad, that gets a, 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 a F from me and probably a D from him. Yeah. This just gets an F. F. This. I would have preferred octopus. I would have preferred. <laughs> I would have preferred all silver over this. If you you threw silver, which has never been part of your color scheme, right? Yeah. Blended out the 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 numbers with no silver, no like white, nothing. It's just red. Right. It, it looks literally, as I said in the last one, like a, no a practice jersey. Yep. You do not need to be doing practice jerseys. No. This is not release practice jerseys. If you want to do that, go to the team website. You can probably buy one. Right. I know on Nashville's website you can. Yep. Uh, was at NashvilleLockerRoom.com. You can buy one of their practice jerseys. They actually have an all blue jersey. Which is something we've been barking for. Alrighty. So that got an F. And so is this one. Sadly. Sadly. One question. Where's the meteor? Right. Where's the oil gear? Where's anything different? It, it literally is confusing with the three bar because you've never used three bar. Right. You use the same color scheme your whole entire thing except for the light blue and the green and the silver. Where's the green or the light blue, orange, and silver? Where's the silver? You could have added silver. Right. Like, come on, you could have done something here. Something. But nonetheless, the it gets enough for me. You yeah. know. Alrighty, well, that's been our reverse retro grading. Yeah. Whew. Check out other videos uh, later on this week. We will also have the AHL Arenas, and we will also have uh, ECHL home jerseys for teams that have released their jerseys, as well as, I believe, we have uh, two new teams coming in, so we'll get back around to that uh, yeah. probably around the start of the season. We'll grade those and we'll just uh, label it ECHL Home Updated. Right. Um, so uh, we'll just add the two teams that came in. So uh, we're just giving fair warning on that. Hope you guys enjoyed our video. Leave comments down below if uh, you have uh, any uh, positive feedback only. And to all the trolls that like putting links on our page, please stop. Yeah. Me and him have enough problems trying to get content done with deleting comments all the time. Right. So, please stop. As he has a family, I have health issues going on, so please stop. Like, yeah, come and, on, enough's enough. Yeah, enough with the, uh, we, well, we don't want to publicly say it, but um, adult websites. Right, stop. Yeah, just stop. Not with cool. <laughs> Not cool. That, that makes us look bad that we're, if, if someone catches it. So please stop. All right. Thank you. Have a wonderful. Thank you everyone. Have a wonderful fourth coming up. Yep. Everybody celebrate your independence. Um, America and Canada are both doing it. So uh, enjoy. And I hope you guys have uh, fun with family, fireworks, brats, hot dogs, beer, beer, ribs, wine, whatever you have. Enjoy. Peace.